Bang! Knees, knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife, Kara, is busy, and we got an unboxing. So let's just get right into it. And... Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is from Lefty EDC. It actually came from D Tom D T O M's channel. He sent it to me. It's in for review and sharpening. And I've been wanting to try one of these for so long. And she took it from me. She took my Man, my thing. This thing actually feels in incredible she had to take the experience Papa, from me you, she, she literally it. cared nothing about this 10 seconds Whoa. ago ah, doing stuff I'm gonna mess this her is up. so nice i'm doing right-handed because i did it lefty in honor of lefty. go ahead edc yeah okay because yeah. i'm lefty as well yeah, 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 move this. The i have to move That's this fine. check this now out the though. audio is probably messed up That drop is incredible. Yeah, that feels good. Let me do one thumb flip. I don't know if I... Oh, yeah. Two. All right. They... I, gotta, I gotta do just one more thumb flip. One last, I swear. I just really want to feel something. Literally, bad. everybody's left by now watching. All right. Why? They're here for the knife. They don't care who flicks it. Right? I think they might even enjoy when I flick it a so, little more. Yeah, that did feel really nice. Right? Yeah, um, you didn't even enjoy it. Well, you because they've already watched it get flicked a hundred times, I doubt they care no, about No, but you need to feel it and appreciate it the way I did, for sure. I will. Even yeah, the slow this roll is, is nice. very, very nice. Oh, yeah. Perfect size. It's got a nice this, loose feeling, and I mean that in all the right ways. It, I love you know I mean? this grind. I'm definitely going to put a ridiculously sharp edge on it. Very easy to slow roll. The lock bar is very easy to get to. It feels very, wow, very nice. I'm pretty sure I'm not positive, but I think he might have put skiff bearings in here or gillian bearings. I'm not positive about that because I know custom knife factories bearings are all always really nice anyways. This is a good size, too. Nice mid-range size. Beautiful like size. Like a bigger knife, you know what I mean? This is definitely something that, to me right here, just the look that everything is like, this is my kind of knife, one million percent. Between the blade shape being like a sheep's foot blade shape, the grind, deep, tall hollow grind, beautiful sharpening toil, also finger toil. I like being able to get nice and close to the blade. The ergos are just insanely good. Even though it's technically not a neutral grip, it still kind of gives you the benefits of the neutral grip because it one, it doesn't have a flipper tab, right? So if it doesn't have a flipper tab, there's nothing blocking me here. So I have so many very comfortable grips that, that wind up working out, even though it technically has finger placement. And you could hold it back here. The jimping is definitely very spread apart, very wide jimping. almost reminds me of um, like Medford's jimping on the Praetorium. This is very comfortable right here. I feel the grip. Yeah, this thing is... Very awesome. So yeah, that Do you have is, a ring on? It, well, yeah, it's not. I'm not scratching it. I know you heard it hit it, but I'm not dragging it. Um, yeah. The, you know, the choil grip is a little awkward for my hand. Like, it cants my hand kind of in a in an odd way. Definitely usable, though. Um, but I think... I don't know. I think right-handed, it, it works out a little bit better for some reason. I don't know why that is. Actually, it's kind of weird. Yeah, for some reason, it's better in the right hand with the with the choil. But yeah, no. Um, no, ergos, I would say, are maybe a 7 out of 10 for me. Um, for me, it's definitely up there close to a 10. I don't know if I'd quite call it a 10 because I haven't used it. And sharpening it, you know, I really get a good feel for how... A knife feels in the hand when I'm sharpening it. Can I say something? 
I think that a really great term that you and every other knife reviewer should start using is like resting ergos and like active ergos. Do you get well, what I'm I talk saying? about that quite often. Like that should be a good term, the resting ergos, like the ergos you feel when it's just in your hand. Yeah. That's but, not real ergos. No, I know. And I talk about that all the time. Like when I hear people on channels that don't use or cut with a knife and they just squeeze it and they talk about how comfortable it is. Now, I do the same thing. So I'm obviously talking crap about myself too. But where it really comes out at that is- That part's important still though. It is very important because, you know, when you've used a knife enough, you do kind of know, yeah. but I have definitely gotten knives in hand in both ways. One where it was very uncomfortable. I started using it and it all made sense. And then I've had knives that were super comfortable. I started using it and things completely came out of the dark. That's how the swag sway back was for me. It was a little weird when I started using it. See, it was the opposite for me. When I used it, it got good. It was yeah. like it lay, the, the way the blade shape is and the way it lays in your hand, it actually right. makes sense. Now with this, um, when sharpening it, you know, or any knife when I start sharpening it, it really gives me a feel for how it's going to feel when cutting because you kind of hold the knife in different grips and there's different pressure points that you get from a knife when sharpening that you don't get just from just grabbing it. So it really tells me like little pinpoint areas on if they're going to aggravate the skin over long term. Like kind of like even this, right? You see this? right there that is something that just grabbing it right here might not but over long term doing this you know from cutting this could start you know aggravating you and now that's thinking about if you're gonna be doing long-term cutting if it's a knife that it's just gonna be like a one two three cut knife back in your pocket type knife that doesn't matter. But if you're talking about an absolute user, like say today, today, the knife I brought to work, um, it's right here somewhere because I almost what opened up the that? video oh, right here, the artisan Arian. So I cut probably about just on wild guess between 50 and 75 foot of cardboard. I cut about 15 plastic straps and a bunch of plastic, but the plastic really didn't matter. But my point is, is that this thing already needs an edge. I'm going to try to hone it and sharpen it. It's got a bunch of like spots right here that won't cut through paper. But that was just one day. That was the first time I really used it, right? Significantly and like actually brought it to work and used it. And so that's a knife, you know, that. I, I have to consider that if I'm going to use it as a user at work and it's going to be a work knife, then ergos and things like that mean something to me. Now, if it's just an EDC knife, like this is a high-end EDC knife, so this to a lot of people, they're not going to use it as their work knife, you know? Um, but yeah, I'm liking it a lot. M390 um, Custom Knife Factory kills it with their knives. And this is the small one. I believe they have a very, a lot bigger one. And to me, this is a perfect size. This little spot right here tucks right into my hand really good. My uh, fat in my hand right here uh, smashes right here really good. Like it, it seems like it possibly is very going to be very comfortable in use. But I will cut with it a little bit um, because I am going to put a nice razor sharp edge custom knife factory they usually do a good job with their heat treat i've seen a couple times where it wasn't the best but usually it's good oh yeah see this is why lefty edc likes this so much you got this clip right here that covers up the lock bar so you don't put pressure on the lock bar so you can use that this clip to put your finger to uh reverse flick that's it. the rough thing being lefty is when you do like with flick this. with the reverse flick where you want to put your finger sometimes pushes the clip onto the lock bar or depending on how narrow the body of the knife is it can yeah. even just be no placement except for your fingers to be on the lock bar i had that issue really bad with the kershaw bare knuckle um also some of the a lot of people that are a bit more slender but i'm saying specifically left-handed sometimes there is no room Obviously, you just don't push down hard, and most times you'll be fine, but sometimes, you know, in the heat of the moment, you're trying to get it open. And This is a titanium frame lock knife I find pretty easy to use left-handed because, you well, one, you can't put your thumb up here and open it, but if, as long as you keep your thumb down here, you can reverse flick it pretty easily for lefties out there. 
but very awesome i'm very happy to have gotten to, or getting to try this out and i'm going to sharpen it up for him and hopefully i can put a beautiful um i don't know i'll talk to him if he wants a mirror edge i'll see if the the grit on this m390 because m390 is kind of iffy um depending on the heat treat it, you know it could take a very good mirror polish judge i've seen lots of 20 cv and m390 that takes a fantastic mirror edge and then i've seen some that uh rather or would rather have a lower grit it just seems to get slick man look at this pattern right here and then the grind next to it you got like this satin finish going this way with stone washing and then you got the belt satin hollow ground oh it's so beautiful shred carbon fiber nice big hardware you got that hole in there i don't know what that's for um oh is that just going through the stop pin yeah oh it's just the stop pin okay that's a hole looking through the stop pin so that means the stop pin is hollow but it's only the closing stop pin and it's far enough away it hits down here so it's far enough away from all this sharpening Looks like the plunge grind ends about, oh wow, a little bit farther down than I thought. About right there is where it ends. Uh, because man, it feels so deep right here, but then when I go like this, I can actually feel that plunge grind right there. But regardless, you got a lot of life of sharpening in it. So there you guys go. Um, thanks for watching this unboxing and first impressions. This is not the review. So stay tuned for uh, a review after a couple days after I sharpen it and uh, get to really experience it. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Peace.